Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at the Genoese from Gundam Age. Now, this is a really cool grunt suit, but let's go ahead and see how it fares as a model kit. And this video is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. If you want to get some paints, tools, or accessories, go ahead and visit their website. So just starting off with the box, honestly, it's a really good looking box. A disclaimer though, this is a pretty... I wouldn't say like extremely difficult model to find, but it is a little bit scarce because it hasn't been reprinted, or at least I don't remember it ever being reprinted. So it, it's not really sought after because it's just one of those grunt suits that people really don't like. It's probably one of the weakest grunt suits in all of Gundam. But I think, you know, aside from all that, it still has a lot of good maneuverability it has a really good aesthetic. I think the visor in the front and just the overall like style looks great, but it's probably more or less the weapons and the color scheme that puts a lot of people off. But I think this is still a great, great model kit. Now, once we have it all built together, it is just stunning. And maybe, maybe I am just a one man chorus, but I just feel like this is a very sick looking grunt suit. It sure, it only has the one single like main thruster in the back, but it does have thrusters underneath the feet, which is really cool. Uh, you know, it's gonna have some maneuverability, and I think with the right pilot, such as Wolf, you know, he brought it out with his custom, although it was tuned up and a lot of the you know maneuverability was increased. It's still the base form looks great and talking about the model kit We're still gonna have a, a decent amount of details we can put into this But I will say when we get into the articulation some things aren't really going to be looking that great However, some things are gonna be looking fantastic now it's gonna come with a little sticker sheet. Not really too much is going on with it. Mostly it's gonna be for the head and then you're gonna have some gray for the shoulders. So uh, most of it is actually color accurate. Just get a gray you know, Gundam marker and then color in the gray on the shoulders. That's pretty much all you really need to do. And then the head, put the sticker on and you really won't notice that it's a sticker once you put the visor, the little clear part, right on top. But for the head, it is gonna have a ton of details whenever you take that visor off. So if you wanna go ahead and just paint it, you definitely can and maybe even leave the visor off if you're gonna have it in kind of like a, a hanger mode, if it's just gonna be you know getting some work done or some maintenance. Uh, and everything else is looking really good. This is something I think could be a very good project to work on if you wanna just you know practice on some scene line removal, you wanna practice some plot plate or even scribing maybe back when it first came out because it wasn't retailing for much. Now moving right along to the articulation. It's not really the best in certain areas. You are gonna have the ball jointed head, but that tends to pop off quite a bit. And then you're gonna have ball jointed shoulders and it can move forward just quite a little bit. The arms itself though are pretty lackluster. It's going to be pulling off a 90 degree bend at the elbow, but the rest of the hand is going to be just ball joint. Now where it really shines is gonna be that beautiful waist. I think the waist is just great. It's gonna be like di different segments of ball joints. So it is going to have a lot of movement going on in that waist. Now when you come down to the legs, it is going to have a pretty good range of movement and you're gonna have that double bend in the knee. And for the ankle, you are gonna get a pretty decent bend. Now for accessories, it is gonna have this little beam gun. It doesn't do much of anything. It is not a dodge rifle, so it's really pointless because it's not penetrating any of the Gofran's armor. It's I think I think the Gofran's are coated with like a, a beam resistance coat. So this isn't doing anything to them. It's gonna need the dodge rifle in order to have that drill-like beam. Then you're gonna have the shield. It's just a basic shield, that's pretty much about it, but it can store the beam saber slash like heat stick. Now speaking of heat sticks, yeah, this is gonna come with the hilt and it's gonna have that little like stick pike looking thing. It's pretty ridiculous to be honest, and if I was piloting this mobile suit, I would not use this. Now instead of the heat stick, you can actually use the beam saber effect parts, and they are fantastic. I mean, if I'm gonna utilize this mobile suit, I better have some decent close melee weapons, and just in case a Gofran does come close. For hands, you do get two accessory holding hands, and you get a left hand that's expressive. Now for comparison, here it is next to a Master Grade Titus. It's actually pretty small in stature, but it still looks really good. Now for my final thoughts. Honestly guys, look, I'm gonna be frank with you. I love this. 
would I recommend it past the MSRP? Probably not when we have things like the Genoese Custom, we have the Genoese 2, we have the Adels, we have all the grunts that just look probably better. Um, at least in my opinion, I think they do look a little bit better, but the Genoese 1 does hold a special place in my heart because I really like this grunt and most people don't. So I don't know, maybe I just really like under appreciative like media or mobile suits. And this definitely falls in that. So it's one of those things I want to take care of. It's my little baby. Um, but you know, I'm not going to say cop it. I'm going to say watch it. I'm going to, I'm definitely going to go between watch it and drop it because there's better like grunt suits within age that you can just pick up. But I will say, if you can get this for less than MSRP, which was at 1,200 yen, go ahead and grab it. And you can, you know, do some nice work to it, do some customs, uh, do some, like, you know, give it some extra armor or some weapons. Make it, like, look stylish and cool. Or just paint it blue, since we never got the blue Genoways. Um, but I, I just really don't think this is the best thing that came out of the age high grade line. It's probably one of the weaker kits that came from it. So that's why I'm not really going to, you know, say, hey, you need to get this. I do want to paint it though, because I, I just really always wanted a blue Genoways. So I might go ahead and be doing that sometime in the future. Not too sure when, uh, but I think it looks cool. If you want to pick it up, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, just watch, and if you happen to come across it, then go ahead and get it. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, thank you to all the members who are basically supporting this channel. Love you guys, and thank you to all the viewers who watch my videos and who have been who have been sticking around for the Gundam Age videos. I know it's been a struggle. Uh, there are going to be some new kits coming out that I do want to get my hands on and review. So stay tuned for those. I just kind of been in a really rough spot, honestly. I just. Uh, I really haven't been wanting to build, paint, or even review. So, uh, you know, please forgive me for not putting out as many videos as possible, and I'm kind of behind on the whole age year. But uh, I am going to have some time off in the near future, and I do plan to just kind of, you know, go full throttle and build as much as I can and try to, you know, put out a review, maybe even daily if possible uh just to, so i can catch up and arc two will be starting in april so that's going to be pretty exciting but that's it for me guys thank you all for watching and i'll be seeing you in the next gundam age review bye bye